someone I was going to add, you know, to my security men. And then one of them came, a fine young man. I didn't know he was a graduate, true story. When this gentleman came, I looked at him. I said, no, 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 no. Tell, tell me about yourself. He said, I'm a graduate. It's just that I didn't have the opportunity to get a job. So I decided that instead of sitting idle, let me go and be trained. And I said, wow, this is serious. I now told him, and I'm saying it with all humility, not just to brag. I told him, I said, my friend, because you did this as a graduate, instead of going to steal, I'm going to send you to go and do your masters and I will give you money to start business. You will not be a security in my house. Now, listen, that gentleman today has gone, but because he was humble enough, the arrogance of this generation in the midst of nothing, you get a job of 50,000, you say 50,000 in Abuja, God forbid, if it's not 500,000 and God says you are not ready to rise. You are not ready to rise. Oh, my birthday, I need 500,000 as a budget. No. <laughs> Economic empowerment. When you wear tomorrow's cloth today, you will be naked tomorrow. When you eat tomorrow's food today, can I tell you the truth? Please listen. For those of us that God has started placing something in our hand, run away. One of the things I learned with all due respect in this city is that God needs to deliver this city from a fake life. Everybody wants to show we have arrived. If you are not there, you are not there. Just sit down and grow patiently. You see someone in a restaurant eating 200,000 and that's all the person has in his account. And everybody in that place is not your age mate economically. It's a message by God. Flying business class without a job. Getting into a choice hotel and celebrating birthdays. Gathering friends together, burning one, two million. No. The church is the right place to say this. And I'm saying this from a standpoint of love. Can I tell you? Delete wasters from your life. People who are not there when you have money, as soon as money arrives, it's as if there's a spirit that makes them know. Here they come. Tell them I love you, but I listen to apostle and I'm on a journey with determination. Are we together now? Yes. I was going to assist a gentleman one time to marry and then he, be, be, the, among the budget, he brought a budget for honeymoon. I said, you are joking. You are joking. You are, you are joking. You think just because a man of God is a giver, we are foolish? No. You are choking. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. There are people today, if you say you want to help them start out in life, what kind of car will I buy? They will tell you a Jeep. First car. There is an orientation we must, we must trust God for grace. Some of you, even though you are making it remain in that one room, cut your course and keep growing and building so that when you come out of that one room, you don't return back in shame. Are we together now? Don't say all my colleagues have gone. No problem. You start with the dignity of integrity. What can you do with your hand? I will be more than glad to pray and bless you. And perhaps even so into your life. Provided you are serious. Let's, let's, let's not train lazy and irresponsible people in church. And then we keep gathering everything and saying in Jesus name. No. I challenge every young man here. Listen. Gentlemen. For the ladies, God bless you, work hard. But for the men, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release grace upon you to be productive. No gentleman in this ministry should have a dependency mentality. No. And if you are here and it's your wife that is feeding you, well, it depends on the situation. But if it's more than three months, four months, you are not serious. You are not serious. Did you hear what I said? I'm not being stupid. You are not serious. There is a grace called favor. Wake up in the name of Jesus Christ and take responsibility. Don't fold your hand and allow your wife pay children's school fees, bring food for you, do a parent for you, buy clothes for you. Who paid whose dowry? 